Welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. And I'm... Um... You know what? You know what? That is, that is exactly the kind of energy I need, because I'm not going to sugarcoat it, folks. The news has been a bit rough lately. Mm. Which has led some of our newspapers to broaden their marketing strategy. This morning, I saw this shocking tweet. The New York Times is rolling out 18-plus subscriber-only newsletters. <laughs> That's right, y'all. Adults-only content for 18 and over. It's the New York Times... After dark. <laughs> They're slightly changing their masthead. All the nudes that's fit to print. <laughs> and things are gonna get nasty at the old gray lady. Or as I call her now, the mature honey. Get ready to see New York Times crossword puzzle editor Will Shorts without any shorts. <laughs> are, are you ready to solve 69 down? <laughs> it's a seven-letter word for birthday present. <laughs> the industry insider who posted the original 18-plus tweet has since deleted it and explained, to be clear, I got lazy and should have said at least 18 newsletters. <laughs> The New York Times is not getting into porn. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> That's true, they're not getting into porn. They've been doing it for years. <laughs> Remember the old headline, Titanic goes down, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but... <laughs> but if the New York Times isn't your thing, you've still got the Washington Post. After all, their slogan is, Democracy dies in darkness, but bangs with the lights on. <laughs> now, when it comes to COVID, the news should be R-rated for, are we ever going to get out of this? Because the Delta variant has caused a huge COVID spike. But not every region of the United States has been affected equally. Cases are going up gradually in the Northeast, Midwest, and West. But the South, oh, she will rise again. <laughs> The problem is, you guessed it, in the South, fewer people are vaccinated on average. You can read all about it in the classic Southern novel, To Kill a Mockingbird by Giving It Medical Advice from Facebook. <laughs> Cases are... advice from Facebook. Consult your doctor. Cases are rising so quickly that Mississippi's hospital system could fail in 10 days. Now, they're going to try to extend that time by counting one Mississippi. <laughs> Ooh, Mississippi. Uh, Ooh, Mississippi. One uh, Mississippi medical center even opened a parking garage basement field hospital. Not exactly where you want to get your health care. Okay, I'm afraid we're going to have to move you, Mrs. Johnson. This bed is for compact cars only. <laughs> you know uh, who wants you to take this virus seriously? The kindergarten cop himself, former California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. He had strong words for people who won't wear masks or get vaccinated. But I think people should know there is a virus here. It kills people. And the only way we prevent it is, is to get vaccinated, to wear masks, to do social distancing, washing your hands all the time, and not just to think about, well, my freedom is being kind of disturbed here. No, screw your freedom. Because with freedom comes obligations and, uh, and, and responsibilities. Yeah, you have the freedom to wear no mask, but you know something? You're a schmuck for not wearing a mask. Wow. I didn't... Wow. Whoa! Whoa! The Terminator... The Terminator is so mad, but he is not going back in time to kill your mother, because now he doesn't have to, because by refusing the vaccine, you're going to do it for him. Speaking of California, I know it's a sad story, isn't it? But it's a true one. <laughs> Speaking of California, Florida, which <laughs> accounts for nearly one in five U.S. COVID cases, also one in five spring break chlamydia cases. <laughs> this huge surge, that's also a sad but true story. <laughs> very tender audience tonight. Very, very... I'll be gentle. 
This huge surge doesn't seem to concern Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, seen here boasting the highest number he can count to. DeSantis has clashed repeatedly with President Biden over COVID safety protocols. Last week, Biden said that if DeSantis wasn't willing to do anything about COVID, then he should get out of the way of people who will. And that led to this exchange. DeSantis, who is using your words about don't be in the way, and he's saying, I am in the way to block too much interference from the federal government. Your response, Mr. President? Governor who? DeSantis. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. But come on, Mr. President, show some respect. He should be addressed by his full title, Governor Who Doesn't Care If His Voters Live or Die. <laughs> this week, this week, Florida, the sunshine state, had to ask the Biden administration to send hundreds of ventilators to Florida. That must have been an awkward call, considering that last week, DeSantis said this to Biden. I don't want to hear a blip about COVID from you. Well, Governor, it looks like it's your turn to eat blip. <laughs> but... <laughs> you blip for brains. <laughs> but DeSantis tried to play off his state's desperate request for ventilators. I'm not... I didn't ask... I, I don't know. I did not know about that, so... Th I've not heard about that, so I have to check to see whether that's true or not. D I, 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 I didn't ask. I, 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 I haven't heard. I have to check if that's true or not, or if you have a governor or not. I mean, does coronavirus even exist? I mean, maybe, maybe none of this is real. Maybe we're all just living in this giant's dream and... Smoke bomb! Yes. <laughs> Speaking of the adult ramblings of a diseased brain, there's some news about my pillow CEO Mike Lindell, <laughs> seen here not buying crack. Lindell is being sued by Dominion Voting Systems for a billion dollars for his lies about election fraud. But Lindell's not giving up. This week, Lindell held a live streamed cyber symposium for which he hired a cyber expert red team and gave them what he said was 37 terabytes of irrefutable evidence that hackers broke into election systems using intercepted packet captures. Packet captures, of course, is a technical term that you might know by the street name, pillowcases. <laughs> well, the cyber results are in, and Lindell's own team has announced that they can't prove his claims that China hacked the election. When asked why they can't prove it, they said, we were handed a turd. <laughs> and the turd lost the election. <laughs> CNN's... <laughs> CNN called out Lindell's cyber nonsense. And that did not sit too well with one attendee. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not a computer guy. I don't know what most of this stuff means, but I've been researching this election since November 3rd. But the CNNs of the world, you guys need to start reporting this and stop fact-checking it. Yes. <laughs> Listen, stop fact-checking, CNN. It's a waste of time. This is Mike Lindell. No matter how much you check, you will not find any facts. Speaking... <laughs> Speaking of people being sued for a billion dollars, the ex-president's lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, seen here losing a staring contest to a bowl of soup. <laughs> Rudy has also been sued by Dominion for a billion dollars. Now he's facing a mountain of legal fees. That mountain's in his apartment, right next to the mountain of empty Franzia boxes. <laughs> On top of that, Franzia fans. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. <laughs> On top of that, Rudy's law license in Washington was suspended. And he was suspended from practicing law in New York due to demonstrably false and misleading statements about the elections, which means he's cut off from his previous source of income, telling lies next to a dildo shop. 
Rudy is going to make it. He's going to make it. Rudy is desperate for cash, so this week he did what all public servants do when they need a second career. He joined Cameo, <laughs> the website where you can pay for a personal message from folks like Lenny Dykstra and the guy who played Hodor, <laughs> which is perfect if you want to wish your nephew a very Hodor Hodor. <laughs> now, how much does it cost to get America's mayor to wish you a happy quinceanera? 275 bucks. That is a really good deal. I mean, he's 25 bucks cheaper than Snooky. <laughs> which makes sense. Which makes total sense. She was on the Jersey Shore. He looks like he washed up on the Jersey Shore. <laughs> and... <laughs> Here's a taste. Hello, Bill. It's Rudy Giuliani. And... I'm wishing you a happy birthday. Never remember a censorship like this, where the, the hard drive, the election, they just, they just cut off 80% of your ability to communicate. So I am very worried for our country. At uh, our age, we want to make sure we leave the country to your wonderful sons, your wonderful sons, Jeff and David. We want to leave it as strong as we, as we got it. And right now, it's headed in the wrong direction. What an uplifting celebration. <laughs> I want to wish you a wonderful birthday and many more, hopefully not spent in the Clinton Foundation's forced labor camps where <laughs> socialists will make your wonderful sons Jeff and David castrate Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> he even shares his wisdom with incoming college kids. Johnny, I understand you're going to begin your first year at New York University. Well, first of all, congratulations. I went to NYU Law School, which... I'm sure you'll see every day on your way to class. Nobody can tell you at this point in your career what you're actually going to do. So true. <laughs> Sometimes you start out practicing law and end up as a video birthday clown. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. My guest is Jennifer Hudson. When we come back,